I'm Ronnie Renner here in the back country of Idaho. I'm not going to tell you the location because you might come and poach our lines. For timber sleds, man, we're doing some stuff that's never been done before, taking it to the big mountains. I'm Regan Sieg from Vernon, BC, Canada, professional snow bike rider. Brock Hoyer from Williams Lake, BC, Canada. I came up here to Idaho to ride with my buddies and, and see what we could do to push the sport. Regan Sieg is an OG free rider, been around the block, and he just knows how to twist the throttle and turn these handlebars and really put the timber sled wherever it needs to go and continually trying to push the sport. Brock Hoyer, he, he's the young guy with that you know spunk when he's riding. You can tell he's on the gas. Fastest dude on a snow bike for sure. I think he's never lost a snow bike race. I think like any other snow sport on earth, powder is where it's at. <laughs> Snowboarders want it, skiers want it, temper sled guys want it, and you gotta go out there and find it and get it. And what I've learned with this thing, you can get it easier than anybody. You got these two guys that are the two best in the world, and get them together out here. It's not fire and ice, man, it's all fire. Long way from fucking Arizona, I can promise you that. These guys had me like scared to death out here this week. We show up to a zone, look at these peaks in the background with all these shoots and stuff, and I'm thinking, all right, I'm gonna find some little features around here, and boys all start talking about how they're gonna go to the top of that and ride down it. The whole aim of this project is to do kind of something different and not just the average jump off of this, bang off of that. We're wanting to use this steep terrain to try some different lines, you know, skier inspired. You have the control of the front ski, you know, you can really lean into it, get on the gas and just lay on these corners, you know, create your own pow shots and really just control while you're going downhill at speed. Well, it's one thing to be a great rider and ride the bike well, but this is a whole different animal when you're out here in the backcountry and putting your life at risk. A lot of people watching this are not going to have any idea of the adversity you face out here, like which mountains face in which directions, which ones take the wind, which ones take the sunlight, where the avalanches could possibly be. We're doing avalanche assessments, trying to learn what the snowpack's like, and it comes down to committing to the snow and knowing how hard you can throw this in there. It's like a team effort, it really is. Yeah. Oh, what about off the finger by the tree? Razor back. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can send it right in that hoop right there. And smack that corner probably. up into some of the bigger peaks, punch trail up in the top. And, you know, first off, it was just neat being up there. The backsides are wind blown, hard packed. You're basically able to just billy goat right in, try to hit your mark on what you spot from the bottom, and uh, the progression kind of went from one line to the next to the next, and you're just looking at bigger and bigger and better. It's just crazy because we're up, up there yesterday climbing hills, going places that nobody ever thought a machine could make it to besides a helicopter, and we're doing it in like 30 seconds. Back to the top, dropping down. Back to the top, dropping down. From the bottom, I stared at this hallway right down the center. Hundreds of feet of walls on both sides. Not a lot of room to wiggle. Obviously very steep, and who knows for rocks in the center.
Yeah, after talking with all the boys and getting that big couloir done, I think the consensus was nobody's ever heard anything going down that as far as a motorized vehicle before, so check that one off. This sport, as long as there's snow falling, has a big future. There's a thrill in it, man. There's a thrill you just can't pass up, and knowing that there's thousands of mountains with snow on them like that, just makes me think that there's so much room to explore and so much room for adventure where people bring that creativity and originality in and start doing their own lines and their own styles, and that's how it is, man. That's evolution.